Okay, so uh, apparently the web color that I made has gotten a little popular, I guess. So I guess I'll start off with explaining the web color itself and then go into how it works by request, obviously. Okay, so basically it reside, it's a program that resides on a host computer and it will load in a page, grab URLs from that, and go to another page. Um, it can be used, well, search, some search engines will use it to index the internet, um, and that can be a very complex program, or maybe for personal uses you'll make one. Um, one person that I know of made a web crawler to gather a very large list of recipes from a recipe website. Um, <clears throat> so it'll choose a domain that start with, read in the HTML, look for information on the page, may, uh, usually it's applying some regex. You'll pretty much always grab any URLs on that page, I guess, to keep it moving. Otherwise, where else does it go? And then you store that information on a database, maybe a text file, it's up to you. Um, there's some problems with web crawlers. They can be a little too heavy on some networks. Um, some websites you might come across happen to be a personal server and that can just wreak havoc on them because a web crawler just goes as fast as it can because it's a computer and therefore you're hitting this one computer with yours as hard as you can demanding information from it. Uh, it can cause some problems. So you might want to keep that in mind while you're developing um, a web crawler if you ever decide to do that. So I pretty much came up with a simple interface for it. I'm not really going to go into detail about that. Um, obviously as soon as this thing starts going you can see that it'll crawl the site. Um, uh, now what I did is I have a file <clears throat> or a class that will load in the URL and pull the web page and basically it'll go, th once it has the page it'll apply some regex here these two ones are probably really horrible right now it's been a long time, this was when I was kind of a beginner with regex um, this one will pull out any URLs that it sees and this one will pull out um, relative URLs and then piece it together with the concat relative to absolute method um, then what it does is it stores a list of unique URLs to go through uh, because you don't want to be going through the same pages twice uh, or multiple times um, so really it's it's about the regex and what you're looking for so I guess if you have any questions just post that as a comment and I'll try to help you out.